Amazon Web Services, guys. Many of you want to work for Amazon. And uh, here's an article on how you can land a role at Amazon. And guess what? It isn't easy. (laughs) It isn't easy at all. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. But we're going to get to it. Amazon Web Services. Amazon's cloud division is the retail giant's most profitable subsidiary. Competition for roles is tough with some postings getting hundreds of applications. A good thing to do is make sure you have a solid LinkedIn profile. You have to be able to connect with people. You have to be able to be visible on LinkedIn. Otherwise, you're shooting yourself in the foot. But let's get to it. Amazon Web Services is one of the, uh, or one of Amazon's strongest business units with Q2 revenue up 39% from a year ago. And it's growing faster than analysts estimated CNC, CNBC reported. And even though the pandemic, the company has been hiring for thousands of roles for both technical and non-technical roles, said um, a technical recruiter. A group that typically hires for technical roles such as software engineers and front-end developers. But sometimes she hires people for marketing or product management roles. She said that some positions get hundreds of applications. An insider salary and analysis found that the highest paid engineers at AWS in the U.S. make as much as $185 a year. And this is a base salary again, guys. This is a base salary. It's not talking about sign-on bonus. It's not talking about equity. It's not talking about uh, a yearly other yearly compensation. This is base salary. A lot of these guys can make up to, you know, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars a year. I think I shared with you guys some of the pay structures of what Amazon does, or how much a lot of people get paid in the tech industry. But further data from uh, Levels FY, a website where engineers submit their pay packages, showed that a principal uh, software development engineer in the U.S. can make an average of 162000 in base salary. Uh, reliable figures for the U.K. were not really available, but data posted on Talent.com show U.K. salaries for a software engineer to be about £60,000. Uh, and there's a lot of competition for this. But one of the things that I wanted to get to is, you know, this recruiter offered five tips to stand out against the fierce competition because, you know, there's a lot of people competing for these jobs and you have to do something that stand out. If you're looking for a technical role to get into something like AWS, you have to show hands-on technical skills, they say. Showing hands-on technical skills is important. Various roles, even at a very senior level, require coding. You need to write code. She added that if they haven't really used JavaScript in the day-to-day projects, then what will happen is that you will go ahead into the process, but they won't be able to crack the interviews. So we need to make sure that the candidate has a lot of hands-on skills and can write code daily because Amazon interviews are very technical and that's the reality of it. So guys, hands-on experience. If you want to get into Amazon, you want to go for some of these technical roles, you got to have hands-on experience. You have to do it. You have to do the work. You have to practice at home. You have to do boot camps, right? You have to have the experience. Qualify or quantify, something that I like to talk about a lot of time in my coaching as well too, when we are getting to resumes and and people are applying for positions, you want to quantify achievements and resumes. Recruiters like to see what real effect you've had in your previous roles. So it's important to tailor resumes to the job. Karina McLeod, a former head of vendor management at Amazon, previously told Insider that your achievements should be supported with valid data and evidence. One suggestion which I can say about resumes is to add numbers because a lot of people just write long sentences, but they don't mention the numbers. If they don't mention the numbers, I'm not showing or it's not showing the impact. Guys, quantify, quantify how much were you able to help the company save on churn? How much were you able to reduce the time to resolution? How much were you able to, you know, grow revenues? How much were you able to shave off the time off that receiving process or loading a shipment or, you know, stocking inventory? Quantify it. If you don't know how to quantify, ask somebody. Ask somebody. An example, don't just write that you were working as a store manager. You have to show your impact in those three months of working as the store manager, she said. What was your task? How did you implement it? And what was the outcome? 
What was the outcome? How do you contribute to the overall business and quantify that? It doesn't matter if your prior experience isn't directly relevant to being a software engineer. It's important to use examples and data to show how you were effective. Highlight extracurricular activities. Young people may not have lots of experience, but transferable skills from projects and interns are valuable too. I think for new grads, two things were very important. Internship experience. We always, always talk about that. We always talk about getting the internships, making sure you have the internships, guys, especially if you're here and you're in college right now, like the Nader, get the internship. If there are some relevant internships, personal projects and school projects too, because these are the projects in which showcase what work you have been doing with uh, what text that you've been using and how much knowledge you have. Absolutely. So guys, internships is kind of like, internships is kind of like a boot camp, right? It's forcing you to do work. It's forcing you to do something under, you know, working for a company, gaining those skills, getting in, you know, access to the corporate environment and other people. You can do a lot of stuff. If you don't do an internship, you can do personal home labs, projects. Brother Kev Tech IT Support talks about home labs all the time. You can do this stuff today in your own house. If you want to explore tech, all you got to do is look at some of these YouTube videos and, you know, watch how people download labs and, you know, VMware and so that they can run, you know, virtual systems and set up, you know, boxes and all this other stuff. All this stuff can be done at home as long as you have a computer, monitors, keyboard, you can do all this stuff at home. But extracurricular activities are important to show. Know that preparation is king, guys. Preparation is king just like anything else in life. You got to be prepared. As one of the largest tech companies in the world, AWS wants the best talent and preparation is key because candidates can be very easily rejected. They need to prepare on the technical side and on the non-technical side. They need to prepare for Amazon's leadership principles, she added. The Amazon's leadership principles guides employees as to how Amazon functions as a company and does business. The guide was developed in companies early days and has been updated only twice in 2015 and again in 2021. Some of the principles learn and be curious, invent and simplify, and insist on highest standards, right? It's their operating principles, things that you should know is how to conduct business. It's the Amazon way. It's the reason why they are the largest company that exists. It's the reason why Jeff Bezos was, you know, one of the richest people in the world until Elon Musk just took it over, right? It's because they have standards, they have operating principles, and you need to know those principles if you're gonna be working for a company like Amazon. Be a team player. Another thing, guys, finally, collaboration is key. Gupta said that during the interview, the hiring teams helps candidates as much as possible to get through the process and often give them clues and hints. Likewise, the candidate should be a team player, she said. They should be actively interacting with the team, not just working in silos. These are simple, you know, soft skills, to be honest with you, that you know, they're explaining in this process of how you can get into a place like Amazon. And I just wanted to make sure that I shared that with you all uh, because it's valuable information and it's not just me, you know, giving you my advice. It's, you know, these business leaders and people who work at these companies saying the exact same thing, um, reiterating the things that I talk about a lot of times on this channel, right? You have to be, you have to quantify the results in your resume. You have to be, a, you know, have really good soft skills and interpersonal skills to work with people. Right. You have to, um, you know, prepare. That's a huge piece of it. You have to show that you've done the work. Whether it's internships or home labs, you have to, you know, have some hands on technical skills if you're going to go on a technical role.